Welcome to the office. I have quite a few reports to compile and write today about various analyses that I did over the summer. They're just mini analyses, mini reports about the upkeep of the instruments, but they need to be done. And a load of other admin stuff, and also writing, if I get a chance. We'll see. Okay, mini report number one is done. So now I'm moving on to number two. Also, do you like my new glasses? They're a bit big. I think I need to get them tightened again, but I think they're nice. So I'm still processing PXRF results, but these ones are different ones from some experiments I did a few weeks before to see the direction of the X-ray beam. Because when we analyze archaeological objects, we're assuming that we're analyzing a specific spot on that object. But if the beam is actually pointing slightly off in a different direction, then we're not actually analyzing what we think we are. And this could mean that our interpretations aren't right either. And so one of my summer tasks was to actually do this experiment. It is lunchtime, so I've come on a quick walk to drop off some parcels and just enjoy the sunshine. It's not actually that sunny, but it is warm. Ready? Ta-da! I'm on King's Parade and it's always so busy, so this is like serious exposure therapy for how people just don't care what other people are doing. Vlogging in public still gives me the fear 10 years later. Okay, I'm heading back to the department now, down one of my favourite streets in Cambridge. I think I've talked about this before, but maybe not on a long form vlog, but basically this is part of St. Bennet's Church, which is a thousand years old. Not that part, the church. And these buildings are all part of Corpus Christi College, where I went for a formal here. And we're just coming up to one of my favourite buildings in Cambridge. I say this so often, but this one, it's really low key because I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what it is. It's called Chris Adams House, now anyway, but it's just so wonky. I love it. It's just properly wonky. <laughs> and look how nice this little side street is. This is the Haddon Library. It was founded in 1920 and it's Cambridge's archaeology and anthropology library. So the majority of these books are all archaeology related or anthropology related. And it's one of my favourite libraries to work in because it really feels like Cambridge. There is actually like a secret study room upstairs. It's, it's probably not a secret. I just didn't know about it. So I've come to this library specifically to really get in the zone for writing an article on pre-Hispanic Colombian goldworking. Specifically the use of stone matrices by the Moisca to make ornamental goldwork such as necklaces. These stone matrices are a super interesting aspect of their metallurgical process. I'm going to put a picture on the screen now. And I had the absolute pleasure of 3D scanning some of these matrices at the Museo de Loro in Bogotá in 2023. So writing this paper feels really special.
this time I'm going to a different library. For now, I'm going to the Classics Library. And then when the Classics Library closes, later this afternoon, it closes at four, I'm gonna go to the main university library, which is open till seven. And can you believe I've still never been? I mean, I've been, I've not been inside. I've been here three years now. <laughs> the plan of action today is to get at least a few paragraphs more done on my paper. Basically, I'm having a writing day and a reading day as well, because I've got to check through some other papers that I'm a co-author on and someone's presentation, which I'm a co-author on. But I thought the library was a good place to do that. So let's go. at library number two. It's 3.45 so I did have another 15 minutes before I had to leave but I got too hungry I'm not gonna lie. So on the way to the next library I'm gonna have this. These are my absolute favourite protein bars. They're dairy free, vegan, celiac friendly and actually really nice. And this is my favourite flavour as well. Caramel blondie, it's white chocolate. Let me show you. Doesn't that just look amazing? I needed that. I'd like to try these as well. I also have a discount code, which I'll put on the screen now. I've been buying them for one or two years now. They're my absolute favourite. I don't get them for free. They're worth it. Certified allergy friendly. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit lost. I thought it was easier to get from that library to the other one. And I must have gone the wrong way. Mm. Oh no. It is just over there. This building is cool. Oh, get that gooey stuff. I can see it. I still think it's ugly. I'm sorry. It's just never going to compare to the libraries in Oxford. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like a prison. It looks like a prison. Right, so I'm not just writing here. I mean, I need to get some writing done, but I have actual books to pick up from this library. So I need to go and try and figure out where they are, but also I ordered one to the desk. So there should be one ready for me, and then I need to go find the others myself. Ooh, this looks good. I should go to that. Okay, fine. This part's pretty. I wish I had shown you how I actually got into this lift, but it looked like a big safe and it felt like a horror movie. Aside from this really nice view, that's King's College Chapel just poking out the trees over there. The top floor also felt a bit like a horror movie. There was no one there. It was dark, as you can see, and it was weirdly clinical and prison-like. So I tried very hard to get back down as soon as possible. I'm trying so hard to get out. And so I went back down to where I started, essentially. <laughs> These are actually group study spaces, but because it's the vacation period, not many people are here and I managed to nab one for myself. What I didn't realize is there is actually a main library study space, the main reading room, which I didn't go in. Um, and probably for the best, because you weren't actually allowed to film in there or have cameras. Not that that ever stopped me in Oxford.
that is me done with work for the day it's 6 30 and actually the library was way better than i expected it to be it was beautiful on the inside as i'm sure you could tell unlike the prisonness out here at least on the ground floor it didn't look like a prison the top floor and now i've got to quick march half an hour to the gym because i have a pilates class which i definitely am not going to be able to film in so I'll probably see you tomorrow morning. Good morning! It is 8.15 right now and I've just had some breakfast. I'm sitting down with my coffee and then I'm gonna get to work. Don't have any Wi-Fi today, which is a bit annoying. Sorry, excuse the hoovering in the background. We're getting a new Wi-Fi box, so. I'm just waiting for that to arrive. The old one has been switched off already, which is a bit frustrating because I really needed to work. But what I'm gonna do is basically write straight from my brain. So what I meant by that was to just write my ideas on a plain document because I couldn't access the online file. What I don't understand is why I didn't just use my hotspot. Clearly my critical thinking brain was not switched on that morning. Good afternoon. Sorry, I haven't really filmed much today. I wasn't really thinking about it, I'm not gonna lie. What I have done is written two full paragraphs and redrafted that was all without the wi-fi the wi-fi is now working we have the new box and i'm gonna move on to the next one for which i needed to do some reading for at the same time so that's good we've made good progress i'm hoping to do another two paragraphs so i'm aiming for at least kind of five six hundred words today i've already done 350 so i reckon i can do it if we can push to more that would be great but at least 500 that's the target. p.m. right now and I don't know how that happened but I have a Spanish lesson in 15 minutes and I haven't prepared for it I need to cram all of these keywords that I learned last lesson and try and remember as many of them as physically possible and I'm looking at them now I don't remember them here they are there's too many I should have stopped earlier to get this done but I did get my 500 word top my 500 word target done so that's good um, now I'm gonna get on with it and stop talking. Good morning! It's Friday, I'm in the office again and I've just been reading so far, it's 10.46. Right now I'm reading a book called Territorios y Memorias Culturales, Moiscas, Etnografías, Cartografías y Arqueologías. It's really interesting so far. So I'm probably gonna be doing that for the next kind of half an hour and then I'll move on to the next part because I can't get too carried away with reading this because although it's super interesting, I don't have time to be reading a book back to front. <laughs> it's home time. I'm done. I've just set off home. Sorry, I really didn't film. I know I was to. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm now walking home and I've decided to go through Downing College because it's beautiful and I can show you it as I walk through. I love the gardening here, it's amazing. Look how nice it is. This is their library, how stunning. And then we have I, just the most beautiful architecture ever. Sorry I didn't film much today. Basically I was really struggling with a section of my paper and it's still kind of terrible, but I wrote the paragraph, I read the literature and it's on the paper. The words are down and I'll refine them later. <laughs> That's the next week's Rosie's problem. I'm on a run, obviously. I think this is going to be an 8k loop, but I won't be running for all of it, I can tell you that right now. Hello, hi. Yeah, I forgot to film an outro again for the video. Sue me, I will try harder next time. <laughs> if you made it this far, good job, good work, congratulations. I was wondering if there were any types of videos you would like to see. So more vlogs, shorter vlogs, longer vlogs. Uh, long form videos where I talk about archaeological sites or scientific results that sort of thing or more shorts let me know in the comments anyway thank you for watching really appreciate it have a lovely day bye